Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Projects. In this module, I want to talk about splitting tasks. So on the screen, I've got one task, which is 10 days duration. I'm going to split that task using the split task tool, which is on the task tab. And it's this one here that looks like a Christmas cracker that's been pulled. When you click on that, you get this little help that comes up and you don't really want to be clicking on that, it's just a guide. As you move your mouse to the task that you want to split, this little help box becomes active. You can see the date on there, Tuesday the 8th, and then as I move forward, it just gives me the date. So if I wanted to split this from Tuesday the 15th, now I'm clicking my mouse and holding it and pushing it. Now you get two dates in this little help, Wednesday the 16th, Thursday the 17th. So if I go into next week or the next week, so if I drop that on... Tuesday the 22nd and it's going to end on the 25th if I let go there you can see that that break that is a split task now if you go back and do that again you can split it more than once and if you've made a mistake you can just pick it up and bang it back together again like so now let's just add a resource and let's see what we can do with this so if I just go to resource and add resources I've only got one which is Bob let's assign him to this task oops let's get him on the right task there's Bob on that task and then let's do a task B so task B and I'm going to just have this as a one day task and I'm going to assign Bob to it again now I can do it quicker than that I'll just type it in there Bob there we go, Bob's on both tasks, and he's now over-allocated. Now, another way to split a task is to use task usage and actually just put zero hours in for Bob on that particular task. So I could use resource leveling to get the computer to move Bob. If I just click on that, I'll show you. I'll go level all. It's just moved it, and then I'll just clear leveling. Now sometimes when you do levelling, it does split a task uh, because there might be something there that Bob can't do or is doing something else. You will get a split task appearing. But that's okay. You make a choice whether you want that or not. You can also split the screen. So I'm going to the View tab and tick in Details and I want Resource Usage underneath. So now it gives me the breakdown in terms of hours. So let's say that I want to split this task on Tuesday. If I just put um, zero in there, you get the split. So Bob is on that task all the way along, but he's not doing anything there. So for example, if I wanted this to work, I could move that task into that slot there and he's no longer over allocated. So quite often when you add a resource to a task they're not actually doing that task for the whole eight hours a day sometimes especially builders tradespeople they're only on the job for two hours a day so that's where task usage usage comes in you just type two hours two hours two hours two hours and then you might be able to do a, another task at the same time um, if I do a task C let's just see if I can show you that task C let's get um, one day again Bob on that so Bob's on there so he's gone red again but if I click on these highlight these so it comes active there let's say it just does two hours on that task and two hours on that task is no longer over allocated so this is a more accurate way if you like to allocate resources and be more precise and then you can update this if they spend longer on that job um, but putting that down is no longer red so it's not over allocated and that's how you split a task and, and now you can move people into those splits so that's all I want to talk about on this little video short video how to split a tasks and how to use a split task feature with task usage and then you can see how you can allocate the hours so hopefully it was of use to you thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one